This is Endscreen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at Endscreen Media, and today is May 23rd, 2014. Rentrack was singing the praises of VOD this week at the On Demand Summit. Uh, Bill Livick, who's vice chairman and CEO of the company, and Kathy Hetzel, corporate VP, said that the 55 million VOD homes uh, were driving about nine hours on average per person of usage. Now, this translates to a pretty good numbers, about 2.6 people per home. Now, if most of this viewing is community viewing, that is, they're watching together, that means that's driving about 1.5 billion hours every quarter. And if most of this viewing is done apart, that's about 3.9 billion hours uh, of viewing. So uh, either way, that's pretty good, particularly when you compare it to Netflix. Netflix said in Q1 of 2013, it delivered 4 billion hours to its 33, uh, excuse me, 36 million subscribers at that time. And, and unfortunately, VOD was only driving about a quarter of that. So this is remarkable growth over that period. Now, you may well ask why. Well, I think there are a couple of reasons. One is improving VOD interfaces. X1 from Comcast is just a better interface and easier to find things with. So I think that's helping, as well as access through tablets. It's very, very easy to just scroll up and down on those tablet displays. But most importantly is more current content. Currently, there are 84% of broadcast primetime shows are showing up now in, in VOD systems. And last season, that was just 70%. So uh, that's probably part of the reason why it's so much better performance. But it could get even better if the Comcast Turner deal is duplicated over more companies. Uh, remember, Turner agreed to provide full seasons to Comcast for use in its VOD system, and that will obviously make it more competitive with services like Netflix. Now, Facebook is looking to help its users post more quickly and easily what they're listening to online. They've developed technology like Shazam to recognize shows and to recognize audio music that you're listening to, and they're working with Rovi to get data about that information so that they can easily post to Facebook accounts. It can all be done by just turning this functionality on the phone while you're watching or listening. And then when you want to post, it's just a couple of touches and it will post what you're watching and listening to on your Facebook page. Viewers of your page can listen to 30 second clips and if it's a video, they will be told which episode and which season so that they don't accidentally spoil the show for themselves. So that will be upcoming in the next few weeks uh, on your tablets and smartphones. And finally, it looks like the World Cup will be the most multi-screen sports event ever. New information from Boxburner says that 55% plan on watching games on their PCs and their laptops. And this comes on top of data earlier this month from Yumi, which said that 55% plan to watch full games uh, online. So either way you look at it, it looks like it's going to be the most multi-screen sports event ever. And if you would like to learn a lot more about how industry is transitioning to the multi-screen world, then you really must attend my workshop on June 2nd at the Broadband TV Convention at uh, Santa Clara on June 2nd. And it'll be running from 1 to 5 in the afternoon. So you can sign up right here by clicking here or just come to my website, go to the events page, and click on the workshop and you can sign up right there. I will see you then.